all right guys so we just got an absolutely massive update in off the grid there are some serious nerf to some cyber lames the grid shield backpack and just how the game functions in general so we're going to cover the whole thing in today's video but quickly i just want to say if you guys do want to keep getting updated here 24 7 everything off the grid crypto gaming in general just simply like and subscribe we are almost at 1000 subscribers here on the channel and also there is an exclusive time sensitive drop you guys can get four off the grid hopefully you guys watch this in time but um currently right now there is an all-star tournament going on um and they're pretty much just streaming it everywhere like twitch and stuff like that it's literally six hundred thousand dollars on the line um and there's a lot of big streamers on this as well but if you guys connect your uh, twitch account and your off the grid account together you guys can get this exclusive nft drop right here or you know just drops in general for off the grid which is this bandana this all-star tank top and this tap nine i already collected mine i think it costs i think it's just what 30 minutes of watching uh you know the twitch streams uh for the bandana 60 minutes for the tank top and then as well as uh 90 minutes for the tap nine i was lucky enough to snag a few of these myself and um i ended up with the number one tap nine all-star which is uh which is, you know, hopefully it stays at the number one uh, serial number because I know there's still the PC and Xbox. But right now, I hold the number one Tap 9 All-Stars for the PS5. So, extremely lucky for that. I'll link everything down below uh, for you guys uh, to go check out yourselves. And uh, like I said, this is time sensitive. So, hopefully you guys watch this in time. But uh, guys, let's talk about some nerfs and uh, technically some buffs that we got for Off The Grid. So... You know, they, they pretty much just came out with this big newsletter over on their Discord. You guys can go check this out for yourselves. It's also all over my X page, aka Twitter, which is also linked down below if you guys want to go check this out. But I'm going to simplify the most important things for you uh, here on the channel. So um, the number one thing is that they nerfed the Paralyzer again. Unfortunately, because I like the Paralyzer, it got a huge nerf, a, like, well, like three different nerfs like three weeks ago. So now they're doing it again. And this nerf is even bigger, I think, than the last, you know, few nerfs. So um, as you guys already know, the Paralyzer, when you zap somebody with it, number one, it used to be three zaps, and then they narrowed it down to one zap. But uh, when you zap somebody with it, um, if you hit them directly, luckily they stay stuck there in that same place for just two seconds. It could be a very chaotic two seconds if you're stuck there, especially if somebody meets you with a squall shotgun. Uh, but... Overall, um, if you guys are in the, you know, zap zone, I like to call it the zap zone. Originally, that person was not able to use your jetpack, so you can't jump out, right? You can't use your leapers to jump out. Now, it does not affect your jetpacks, so you can simply just jump out unless you get directly zapped. So, this is a massive nerf, and technically speaking, this is also a, um, you know, this kind of devalues... It buffs the leapers because, you know, the leapers are not going to get affected by the paralyzer. But it kind of also nerfs the roadrunners because the roadrunners, I don't think you could escape from that um, zap zone with the roadrunners. I could be wrong. I have to double check on that. But it specifically says the jetpack in general uh, will, you know, the debuff for the jetpack is not going to work anymore. But speaking about the roadrunners, the roadrunner, the roadrunners also got nerfed again or not again. Well, technically it got nerfed a while ago, but... Um, so when the cooldown for the, um, you know, for the road runners before it was 25 seconds. Now it's 30 seconds. So they just, they just kind of, uh, buffed it to five extra seconds. So I, I guess this is okay. I mean, I, there's a lot of people that are starting to use the road runners a lot now. Uh, we'll see. I mean, this is not too much of a nerf. Five seconds isn't too crazy, but you know, still it's, I don't think it was really necessary, but they did it for a reason. So yeah. So another huge change here, guys, is going to be, and I made a full video on this here on the channel, uh, it's going to be the Grid Shield Backpack. So if you guys already know, there was an exploit of some sort where towards the end of the circle um, in the end game, you and your teams coordinated a specific area where you all dropped Grid Shield Backpack loadouts, and then at the end of the game, you guys just go there and you recycle it and you stay alive outside the grid with pretty much infinite health. So they did a few things here uh, to nerf this specific exploit, right? So the first thing they did is now when you're outside of the grid, it does more damage. So yeah, that's pretty big already just in itself, right? 
Um, also, they reduced the Grid Shield's health to 150, so they reduced the health of the Grid Shield backpack and they increased the uh, the damage you take outside of the grid. So that's already a huge nerf, but um, one of the biggest nerfs here, guys, is the Grid Shield backpack overall health now reduces and it isn't in a pool per health backpack. So I'm not sure exactly what they mean by this. So I'm assuming that for each grid show backpack you have, it's not really gonna um, carry on a brand new health. I think it's all pulled in together. I'll have to double check on this, but this is what they said. And once again, you guys going, you guys can go check this out for yourselves. Um, it specifically says right here, changed how grid shield backpack health is reduced. Damage received is now a factor instead of having a pool of health added per backpack. So yeah, I mean, um, once again, I have to try this out for myself. Um, I'm about to get in a few matches in a little bit here, but those are all the main things, guys. But go take advantage. If you guys are watching this, go take advantage of this brand new set right here. Um, it's, you know, it's exclusive drops. Anything exclusive down the line will be going for a pretty penny. As you guys know, you can down the line sell this for real money. I was lucky enough, like I said, to get a few serial number ones. Um, this Tap9 All-Star here. And actually, you know what? Let me just show you guys in-game how cool this looks. It looks really freaking cool, dude. Let me just show you really quick. So, if I just go to my... Let's go to my loadout real quick. Let's go all the way back. As you guys can see, I already have a few stuff here. But um, let's do this. I want to show you the Tap9, how cool it looks, right? The Tap9 All-Star. So, uh, as you guys can see, it's, it's pretty much just all gold gun. It looks really freaking cool, dude. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be like maybe less than a thousand of these in circulation. And if so, that's going to be going for a nice pretty penny, especially in the crypto sector of things, right? Like, don't forget, guys, this game is Web3 and Web2 combined. So there's a lot of crypto people that play this game. And some of these uh, people would like to spend a pretty penny on some of these exclusive items. So um, and this will be integrated into OpenSea as well. So these, these are technically NFTs if you choose so, or you can play the game normally as you guys already know. So absolutely love this Tap9 All-Star, which is already the best um, pistol in the game, right? Or the Tap9 family, right? Uh, so we have that. I, I want to show you guys really quick the, let's show you guys the bandana and everything else that I got here. So uh, I got the bandana. It was a little bit late, but still early serial number in the 20s, which is fine with me. So this is the bandana, and then I got... Actually, let me just show you guys via the wardrobe. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Th that's the tournament right there. So let's go to uh, let's go to appearance. So this right here is the bandana, as you guys can see, right? Uh, looks really cool, as well as a very basic, but still very cool, like the gold theme uh, tank top. So yeah, I mean, these all look pretty badass. Exclusive drops once again, and it has a little all-star thing logo all over these stuff including the bandana the tap nine uh pistol as well as the tank top but yeah guys go take advantage of all this and um once again if you guys did enjoy the video want to keep getting updated here everything off the grid web3 crypto gaming in general just simply like and subscribe and you guys really know i got you guys covered our goal here for the channel is a thousand subscribers we are nearly clearing uh 900 subscribers so we're almost there guys uh but yeah if you enjoyed the video like i said Subscribe, like, and all that stuff, and I'll definitely catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.